Hi fellas, this uh, Visual C++ tutorial on how to use for loop to generate numbers 1 to 12 into a list box. So let's go to the tutorial now and you will see the step by step uh, procedure of how this tutorial was uh, completed. Hi, welcome to my Visual C++ uh, tutorial on how to generate uh, uh, numbers 1 to 12. So I don't need this list box because I intend to populate the list box with the numbers generated using a for loop. Okay, so I have a list box there, and I I need a, let me get one uh, command button. Uh, let me get one button. That's it right there. Put it right there. Okay, so maybe. Let's just give this button a name. Uh, I'm going to call it BTN. BTN add item. Okay. Add items. And uh, here, let me just say add item. That's the name of my button. This list box. Let me just let me just give it a name as well. Um, L I S add items. So that's the name of my list box. Okay. So so that's uh, now we're ready to go. So what is left now is maybe I should just add a title up there. Need a, let me get a label. I will paste the label up there. And that label, let me just uh, say um, for loop tutorial using. Uh, a list box okay so that is the title of my of my program let's move this down a little bit okay and uh, let's increase the font of this title so that you guys can uh, oh sorry about that let's increase the font maybe about 12 and that's fine so same tight that's cool all right so the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, let's just uh, add a little bit of more component onto this uh, system okay that's a tool tip I'm gonna click on that tool tip just drop it there I might as well just get that out of the way because I intend to use 2T for most of uh, my other tutorials. So I'll just select that's my 2T there. So the whole idea is to actually make the system a little bit more user friendly for any user. So in here, I've selected the list box. So I'll come here now where I say 2T. I'll just say maybe. Um, item generated okay so so here the the button I can call that item generator okay and that can always be For loop, for loop tutorial. Okay, so if I run the system now, what you guys will see is as follows. Okay, now we have to debug first. Just click on yes. Okay, there we go. The system is here. So if I place my mouse there, 
And you see that? Item generated, item generator, and uh, for loop tutorial. So let's go into the code, view code area, and enter the code to generate the item that we enter in here. So what I'll do now is double click on my add button. Okay. So on the click event, press enter, and now we now declare an integer. Okay, that's my integer. I just say i. And then I'll say for i equals one. So i equals one. Okay, i less than and equals to twelve, comma i plus plus. Okay, so I'm going to now close that and enter my curly bracket there. Okay. Uh, in here, enter my list. That's the name of my list box. And I say minus add item. We want to add items with an S. And the item I'm adding is I. And yeah. So the next thing I'm going to do now is just to compile and run the program. So let's compile first. That if there's any error, I'll be able to debug it and get it sorted. Okay, this is an error. Let's check that out. Okay, that's the error there. It's supposed to be. All right. Okay, that's hopefully that's sorted now. So let's go back and compile it again. Okay, and here is our program running. So when I click on add item, what will happen is it will generate from number one to 12. Okay, guys, so the other thing you can do is just to make this uh, number that is generated, you can just uh, make it bold and so on. So to do that, you can always go into the form, go back to the form. The list box is selected and come to font. You can then change the font size there. Okay, so I'm going to change that to about 14, uh, maybe 12. So I think 12 is fine. Well, guys, that's the end of this tutorial. So all I just need to do now is to add the items. You can see that. So that's how you use a uh, for loop with a list box, okay? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any comment, please let me know. And whatever improvement that can be made, I appreciate that, thank you.